Someone just reported that something opened up above CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Photographs of the strange object were posted to social media, with many saying that the object looks like a dark portal. Oddly enough, the user who posted the footage said that some sources are saying that these photographs were captured above the United States, but the truth is that they were actually taken above Switzerland's Large Hadron Collider complex. The opening has been described as looking like a dark portal, with the user saying that people were pulling to the side of the road to take videos. What's interesting about this object is that some said that when you look directly into the hole, you can't see the sky on the other side. If the event itself wasn't strange enough, people then started to come forward and comment that they had a dream about this event, with dozens of people saying that they had a dream where they imagined a portal opening in the sky and detailed that when they were looking inside it, they felt complete happiness come over them. Oddly enough, one person even said that they shared the dream they had on their social media page several days before this happened. Strangely, the dark opening appears to just sit in the sky, and as of right now it's caused a variety of theories to be put forward by those who've seen it. One user suggested that experiments may have been conducted in the area, and that this is the result of one of them, saying that if officials did this during the night, then it wouldn't be easy to see. As if this mysterious sighting wasn't strange enough, some people were saying that they could see objects flying out of the portal, with one woman describing how she saw two orb-like objects. And interestingly, these were even picked up on the video. These orbs are often associated with strange phenomena, and sightings of these bright lights go back hundreds of years. The reason people say they are connected to other mysterious aircrafts is due to how they move, with eyewitnesses saying that they appear to be under intelligent control as they are able to travel at high speeds, make quick maneuvers and even vanish within seconds. These strange glowing orbs have also been captured on things like webcams and it's led researchers to say that they are perhaps one of the most reported mysterious flying objects and that they are known for being difficult to photograph as they just appear as glowing smudges on cameras. In recent years, Scientists have come forward and said that humans have the ability to control and manipulate the weather, saying that this involves the use of various techniques to alter the natural processes that create weather phenomena such as rain, snow, hail and fog. One common technique used involves the use of chemicals such as silver iodide or dry ice to stimulate cloud formation and precipitation. The chemicals are released into the atmosphere either by ground-based generators or by aircraft where they are dispersed into the clouds to encourage the formation of rain or snow. Other techniques that have been proposed include the use of lasers, microwave beams, and even large-scale wind turbines to alter the movement and behavior of atmospheric systems. While these techniques have shown some promise in certain applications, their effectiveness remains limited and controversial. Some went down this route and suggested that this was part of some experiment being carried out in the area. Skeptics were not impressed, and said that what people are most likely seeing is nothing more than a cloud or a smoke ring. A smoke ring is a visible vortex ring formed by smoke or other particles in the air. The ring is created when a burst of air is expelled through a circular opening, such as the mouth or the barrel of a smokestack. The air forms a vortex as it travels through the opening, creating a circular motion that draws in smoke or other particles from the surrounding air. As the vortex expands and moves away from the opening, it forms a distinct ring shape that is often visible for several seconds. However, many who allegedly witnessed this event said that the ring didn't disperse, and noted that it could be seen hovering in the sky for several minutes without moving. They also noted that if it was a smoke ring, then you would be able to see through it, but said that you couldn't, and that all you could see when you looked into it was darkness. As of right now, people are still debating what this object is and where it came from. Since the Large Hadron Collider first started up on September 10, 2008, it's been at the center of many incredible discoveries, with those around the world questioning the true nature of this giant machine. Just recently, someone was live-streaming above the Large Hadron Collider when they noticed something strange. They described the object in question as being a set of stationary lights saying that they didn't move, were hovering above the Large Hadron Collider complex and that every so often each of the lights would turn on and off, 
but said that not at any point did they descend in elevation and describing the object as being in the shape of a triangle or a boomerang. As the live stream continued, it started to gain traction as thousands of people flooded in to see what this thing was, while at the same time putting forward their own theories in order to explain it. The individual was there for over an hour, recording the whole thing. Oddly enough, those who live close to the region have long said that strange lights and weather phenomena have been recorded above the complex, and that these strange lights don't match things like planes and helicopters. One person said the following about the strange lights. This is a little ominous, isn't it? There's a huge triangular-shaped object hovering above the Large Hadron Collider while lightning is surrounding it. It's like a scene from a movie. End quote. One of the strangest things about this event was how the object just stayed in the same position for all of the live stream, with some of the viewers asking how it could have done this. The strange object was made up of four lights that would occasionally turn on and off. At this moment in time, the size of this craft is not known, but some have guessed that it's anywhere from 40 feet to hundreds of feet in length. Another user has said that residents keep reporting strange openings in the sky, describing them as looking like portals, and oddly enough in some instances, witnesses have reported seeing strange objects flying out of these openings, only to fly off at incredible speeds. During the last few years, there's been a wide range of reports featuring sightings of glowing objects that don't appear to match anything in the area. Some described these objects as looking like glowing orbs, while others called them green fireballs, and said that they demonstrated a form of intelligence in their evasive maneuvering and flight patterns. One of the first known reports surrounding these strange aircrafts was made back in 2010. According to the report, a civilian airplane, alongside a nearby military airplane, both reported what they described as a bright green fireball passing nearby as they were flying over the area. The two pilots were quoted as describing the fireballs as a huge green meteor and a green ball of fire with no physical dimensions or outlines. Residents backed up these claims and noted that a strange objects could be seen travelling across the sky, but after investigations were carried out, the first report was dismissed, saying that the most likely explanation for this sighting was that of a meteor burning up in the lower atmosphere, with a possible chemical composition of copper chloride, a compound commonly known for burning a bright green under natural conditions. Oddly enough, only a few days after this first sighting, locals in the area would go on to report that portals started opening up in the sky and that strange objects could be seen flying out of them. Although this sounds like a completely fabricated story, a very similar report has been made at the Skinwalker Ranch, which can be found in the United States. One user detailed the following encounter. In 2010, a group of us saw a bright light in the sky that appeared to be an opening of sorts. At first, we thought that it may have been a new kind of technology that was testing out company logos in the sky. But as we were watching this strange spiral in the sky, an object then flew out of it. After around 10 seconds, the strange spiral closed and the object that flew out of it was nowhere to be seen. We all just stood there questioning what we had just witnessed. End quote. Pilots in the area have described the aircrafts they've witnessed as displaying intelligent and erratic movements and appeared to contain no physical outlines of any kind. Realizing that something far more unnatural was occurring, this second sighting would cause more people in the area to take notice of these strange aircrafts. Oddly enough, only 12 days following the prior incident, an astronomer working at the University of New Mexico claimed to have spotted several of these objects that had been reported. When observing the unexplainable lights, the astronomer studied their paths and emissions and gathered a significant amount of information before writing to the United States Air Force. The astronomer's letter detailed these objects, and they said to the United States military that the lights were not typical of meteor behavior and must be a form of intelligent aerial craft. As of right now, these sightings have been dismissed as being planes, meteorites or space debris burning up in the atmosphere. Although these bizarre sightings have been massively downplayed by military officials, those living in the region have said they don't buy this explanation and said that something strange is happening above this area. The European Council for Nuclear Research said the following on their website. The creation of black holes at the Large Hadron Collider is very unlikely. However, some theories suggest that the formation of tiny quantum black holes may be possible. The observation of such an event would be thrilling in terms of our understanding of the universe, 
The creation of a quantum black hole at the Large Hadron Collider would be very surprising, but very exciting indeed. It would allow physicists to learn about nature's most elusive force, gravity. The creation of a black hole at the Large Hadron Collider would confirm theories that our universe is not four-dimensional, but indeed hosts other dimensions. It would be quite a spectacular philosophical outcome. In the same way that the theory of relativity or of quantum mechanics revolutionized our way of thinking, discovering the existence of extra dimensions would be a major new milestone in our understanding of the universe. There is no obvious application for knowing this. Many people will start speculating about using these extra dimensions for space and time travel or as a source of clean energy and who knows what else. End quote. Interestingly, these triangular-shaped aircrafts haven't just been seen above the Large Hadron Collider. For years now, they've been reported in pretty much every country around the world. What they are, though, is still heavily debated. Some argue that these crafts are part of the latest stealth fleet of either the United States or United Kingdom's military, while some users have questioned how we would have such a thing. Another thing that's been picked up on by amateur researchers is how these aircrafts are never usually seen during the daytime. Although there have been a few photographs taken during the day, it still hasn't helped us to come to a definitive answer for what these things are, along with how they are able to achieve some of the things that they do. There have been around 4,000 reports of these triangles since 1990 in the United Kingdom alone. There have also been waves of triangle sightings in Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. According to databases that keep track of mysterious aircrafts, the Black Triangle is one of the most commonly sighted crafts that gets reported by eyewitnesses, and most of the people who have seen these crafts describe the same thing, a dark black triangle hovering silently in the sky. Mr. McGrillan, a media journalist, has said that United States officials have in their possession a clear photograph of one of these black triangles rising out of the ocean, saying that insiders are aware of this photograph, as they have gone on record about it saying that the craft was captured back in 2019 by a pilot. Mr. McGrillan said the following. It could be a key piece of evidence, demonstrating that we are truly in the presence of some other intelligence. End quote. At the time, the pilot was flying in a Super Hornet. The photograph in question was captured by equipment on board the Super Hornet, which is one of the reasons why it hasn't been released to the public, with insiders noting that the photograph is still locked up with United States officials who don't talk about it, and who've said likely won't be releasing it any time in the near future. Those who've seen the photograph have said that it was captured by the pilot off the east coast of the United States, and describe it as looking like a giant black triangle, with blunted edges and having spherical white lights on each of the corners. Tom Rogan, the national security writer for the Washington Examiner, has come forward and said that the photograph does exist after being told about it from insiders. He said the following. It's the tip of the iceberg, but we will see more leaks of mysterious flying aircraft imagery and data in the coming years. United States officials should get ahead of the curve and officially release more material. End quote. It's for this reason that some have said that these mysterious black triangles don't belong to us, noting that if they aren't willing to even share a photograph or talk about it, then it's likely that these things are coming from an outside source. Some online users have said that it's strange because in the last few years, we've basically been told that many of these crafts are actually seen out in the oceans, and this has caused some to put forward their own theories for why this is. For years now, people have said they've seen strange objects flying in and out of the oceans, with many dismissing these claims as nothing more than made-up stories, but with insiders now admitting that many of these crafts have been seen in our oceans by United States officials and the military, it's only caused more questions to be put forward including who do they belong to? Why are they more commonly seen out in the oceans? What's out there that's causing them to fly miles out to sea? Why aren't these photographs being released? And ultimately, where are they coming from? The International Space Station orbits the Earth, serving as a beacon of scientific exploration and international collaboration. However, alongside its remarkable achievements, the International Space Station has also become the focal point of intriguing reports and recordings of unidentified objects. Recently, some interesting photographs have been shared around social media, showing what appears to be two medium-sized black cubes flying past one of the International Space Station's cameras. 
As the live feed camera transmitted images of the Earth and surrounding space, a user online noticed two small, dark objects in the distance. They said that its shape and movements deviated from the expected patterns of space debris or known satellites. Intrigued, they started to take some screenshots in the hopes of better understanding what it was that they witnessed. They said that the objects were in the shape of a cube, saying that it maneuvered gracefully through the vast emptiness of space. The user said that it flew past the camera within a matter of seconds and displayed agility and speed beyond the capabilities of any known human-made spacecraft. With the mysterious object captivating their attention, they knew that they were witnessing something strange and so quickly grabbed some screenshots. They said that the object's flight patterns and advanced maneuvers challenged conventional understanding, raising questions about its technological capabilities and potential nature. After sharing the photographs online, some suggested that the small black objects were advanced reconnaissance probes from an advanced civilization observing humanity's activities from afar. Others theorized that it could be a result of a top-secret military experiment, pushing the boundaries of aerospace technology. Regardless of the explanations, the sighting opened up a world of possibilities and triggered discussions about the existence of intelligent life beyond Earth. However, despite numerous attempts at trying to explain what these objects were, they remained a mystery. Interestingly, those who saw the photograph said that this isn't the first time that these objects have been captured on the International Space Station's live cameras and said that over the years, a variety of strange objects have been captured. Although NASA and other space agencies have said that these objects are nothing of interest and can normally be explained as things like space debris and camera glitches, this hasn't stopped users from investigating further, noting that every so often these objects can be seen during the live streams. Whether these two small black objects were an otherworldly visitor, a product of advanced human technology, or something else entirely, its presence has left many unanswered questions, and as humanity continues its voyage of discovery, the enigmatic encounter serves as a constant reminder that the universe is full of surprises, waiting to be discovered. As mentioned, numerous recordings from the International Space Station have captured objects appearing in the frame, exhibiting unconventional flight patterns and unexplained characteristics. Eyewitness accounts and footage reveal sightings of spherical, cylindrical or disc-shaped objects maneuvering near the space station. These objects often exhibit high speeds, abrupt changes in direction and anomalous behavior that cannot be easily explained by known space debris or natural phenomena. Several explanations have been proposed to account for the mysterious objects caught near the International Space Station. One possibility is the presence of space debris or satellites, which can occasionally pass by the station. However, the distinct flight patterns and behaviors observed in some cases defy the characteristics of typical space debris or known satellite movements. Another explanation involves misidentifications or lens flares caused by light reflections or internal optics within the cameras. Such optical phenomena can create the illusion of objects or anomalies in the recorded footage, However, the consistency of witness reports and the corroboration between different camera angles challenge the notion that all sightings are mere artifacts. The sightings of these mysterious objects have fueled speculation about potential advanced civilizations. Proponents of this hypothesis argue that the peculiar flight patterns and advanced technology displayed by these objects suggest the presence of intelligent life monitoring our planet or interacting with the space station. While this hypothesis is intriguing, it remains speculative, as definitive proof of advanced activity is yet to be established. The complex nature of this phenomenon requires rigorous scientific investigation and analysis of available evidence to ascertain the true nature of these sightings. The realm of outer space has always been shrouded in mystery, and astronauts, as intrepid explorers, are no strangers to encounters with the unknown. Several astronauts have come forward with accounts of mysterious aircrafts. Those who believe in this phenomenon have said that if you are going to believe anyone, then you should believe those who've actually been to space. Perhaps the most notable is the testimony of Buzz Aldrin, the second person to walk on the moon. Aldrin has stated that he and his fellow Apollo 11 crew members observed a mysterious object during their journey to the moon, describing it as a cylindrical object moving alongside their spacecraft. Similarly, 
Edgar Mitchell, the sixth person to walk on the moon as part of the Apollo 14 mission, spoke openly about his belief in advanced life and his conviction that mysterious objects have visited Earth. Mitchell claimed that multiple astronauts have witnessed these objects, but the information has been withheld from the public. In addition to these renowned astronauts, other space explorers, including Gordon Cooper and Story Musgrave, have shared their own encounters with unidentified objects during their missions. Their descriptions often include sightings of bright lights, strange formations, or objects exhibiting rapid acceleration and maneuverability. The testimonies of astronauts hold considerable weight due to their extensive training, scientific backgrounds and credibility within the space exploration community. These individuals are trained observers who have undergone rigorous astronaut selection processes and have extensive knowledge of spacecraft and celestial phenomena. The testimonies of astronauts who claim to have encountered mysterious objects during their space missions provide intriguing insights into the unexplained phenomena that occur beyond our planet. While skeptics offer alternative explanations and caution against misinterpretations, the credibility and training of these astronauts demand careful consideration. The experiences shared by these space explorers encourage scientific inquiry, inspire curiosity, and challenge our understanding of the universe. As we continue to explore the cosmos, further research and investigation into these encounters will shed light on the nature of these objects and potentially reshape our understanding of our place in the universe. So, what do you make of this strange object that was photographed? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.